morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, so happy to see you again today. How are you? Good. 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 Ah, okay, that's great because it's been a while I don't see you for maybe two weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. By the way, did you see any of your friends who missed the class today? Yeah. yeah. If I'm not mistaken, her name was Lisa. Is it correct? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. I will take notes for the attendance list for today's class. That Lisa cannot attend today's meeting. Thank you for informing me. I need one volunteer of all of you to lead our prayer together. Oh, okay. Please lead us pray together. So before we start our lesson, let's pray together. Amen. Thank you, Tommy, to lead the prayer to all of us. Okay, students, since you're feeling good, you're happy, and you're fine today, um, I want to check. I want to check whether last night or maybe previous um, weeks you already learned about the material I have sent to you. It's about a tertiary exposition text. Any of you have read the materials? Oh, no? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. All of you. Yes. Okay, great. I want to give you my learning objective first before we get deeper to the material. This learning objective gives you a scenario about what you will do and what you will learn in today's class. And it's particular, what is it? Hortatory what? Hortatory. Yes, Hortatory Exposition Text. Remember that last week, previous meeting, you already learned about analytical exposition text. And now we learn about Hortatory Exposition Text. Great, good job. Um, we will learn about the text-based approach. And in this, in, this, in this material, we will learn about uh, Hortatory Exposition Text, in which that was the part of, um, what is it? genre-based approach. And also, not only that, you will learn about analyzing the text, like the structures, the language features, and also the social function. And after that, in the end of the agenda, you will, uh, you will um, be in your group work and you will do the assignments. And after group work, you will do individual assignments. And after that, we will review it together. And whether you have a confusion, you can, you can just ask me or maybe discuss with your friends to get better understanding about the material. Okay, let's continue then. I have some question for you. It's just to stimulate your excitement for today's <coughs> class. If I ask you, have you ever given an opinion on a general moment? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah? yes. What kind of moment? Uh, in Instagram caption. Okay, great. That's the example of argument, Instagram caption. Any other? Review. Oh yeah, great, movie review. You also give uh, ar arguments and opinions there. Yeah, that's great. That's the example of opinions of, uh, or arguments. Now, if I ask you, what do you think about the weather these days? It's so hot. Yeah, it's so hot, right? Like it's so dry. Do you think, do you know what is the prob what is the thing that caused the weather, the hot weather? Uh, climate change. Yeah, climate change. Okay, that's correct, by the way, the climate change. And I have a picture here. Uh -huh. I have a picture here. It's about what? Pollution. Yes, pollution. Where is it? Do you know where is it? Jakarta. Jakarta, Jakarta is what? Our, our capital yes. city. It's our capital city. And if you notice, actually Indonesia, our beloved country, has a very large green forest in the world. It's not mainly in one continent or in one area, but in the world. How is it possible that we have this kind of pollution? And then what comes to your mind when I show you this picture after I give you explanation too? What comes to your mind? What caused this? Emissions. Mm -mm. Gas emissions. And then? Pollution. Any other? The factory smoke, like that. Factory smoke. Do you think this is one of the factors of climate change? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, because um, previously when I asked you have, you, have you read the materials? You said you read the materials, right? Yes. Okay, now I want to check your understanding. Mm, we will begin with definition. Anyone still remember what is definition of hortatory exposition text? Raise your hand, please. Okay, what is it? Okay, that's correct. Give applause to your friend. Okay, do you have any questions so far before I continue to the next material? No? no. Okay, no. I will continue then. After we discuss about the definition, now we discuss about generic structures. Um, for you who have read the material, do you still remember how many structures of um, Hortatory Exposition Text? Raise your hand. Okay, how many is it? Three. Three. What are those? 
That's great. Can anyone help her to give explanation of each? Okay. Okay, please. Okay, that's great. Give applause to two of your friends. Okay, you already, yeah, you already learned about two things. Is it about definition and about uh, uh, generic structures? If you don't have any question, I will continue the next material. Okay, now we talk about the third thing. Is the English features. Okay, these are some points here. I need your help to um, remember your memory about the language features. Maybe you have learned about simple present tense before because it is so common to be found in several texts. Can anyone help me to write the formula, to tell me the formula of verbal in positive form? Subject. Subject, and then louder, please. Subject plus sub one. Uh huh. S. Or the S. Yes, and then plus. Subject. Okay. Plus complement. Okay. Anyone knows what is complement in Indonesian language? Yes, great. Plus up. What it, what about the nominal form of simple present tense? Subject. Okay. Plus to be. Mm -hmm. Plus object. Plus object. Plus complement. Great. Now I need your help about models. What is models? Example of models. Okay. What are the examples? Uh, the first is can. Can. Okay. Will. Will. And should. Okay. Great. Should. Now, what about action first? Does anyone know the example of action first? Okay, please. Jump. Okay, jump. And then? Skip. Okay. Run. Okay, great, thank you. What about temporal connectives? Okay, please. Finally. Finally, okay, then? Then? Mm -hmm. After. Okay. That's great, awesome. Last one, a relative word used to represent the opinion, feeling, or judgment or of the author of something. For example, important, valuable, significant. These three are the examples of a relative words. Do you have any questions so far for the language features? Yes. Okay, then we'll continue to next discussion. This is the last material so far. About social function, does anyone still remember? Raise your hand, please. Okay, what is the social function? Okay, great. The key point or the key word is to persuade. Who persuade who? Author? Author persuade? Okay, author persuade the reader. All this? Great, good job. If you sure you don't have any question, I will continue to group work. So are you ready for group work? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. I want you to sit with your group work based on the previous test that we have that we did last week that you see what is your interest in learning whether you're visual or you auditory or whether you're kinesthetic. Okay. Let me um, explain the instruction of the group work for today's activity. Okay. I will give the visual group of maybe for the Auditory first. Okay, for the auditory group, um, I, you will access these two barcodes, the blue and black. The blue one is to access the audio file. So you will listen to the material that you will learn. And then you analyze it and you um, check whether what is the main idea, what is the social function of the text, and then whether it's the um, language feature is correct or not, like that, okay? And also you need to retell it and record it on the um, MP3 using your phone, and then don't forget to access this black barcode to submit your recording. Okay, so far so good? Yes. Okay, with your hands kinesthetic and visual? <coughs> okay, this is the task for visual group first. So for visual group, I expect you to read this text, whole of this text, and then you will uh, make or draw or be creative in uh, making mind map. The mind map is almost the same with auditory. You will make mind map about the, what is it, like the main ideas and the language features and the social function of the text, okay? You understand the instructions? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I move to kinesthetic group. For kinesthetic group, you need to discuss with your friends whether you agree or not with the text and whether the social function meets the, uh, what is it, like the formula of the um, language feature of the text. If you agree, please highlight which point that you really agree with. 
And if you don't agree, please uh, deliver your own opinion. Okay? If you do have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Okay? If uh, you are ready to do your group work, I give you 10 minutes. That is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Group work starts from now. Good luck, everyone. All right, everyone, time's up. Do you need more additional time? No. Okay, do you finish with your discussion and your work? Yes. yes. Okay, let's check it together. <coughs> For the visual group, let me see your group work. Wow, this is so colorful. So this is the work of visual group. Give applause to visual group. Thank you very much for your hard work. Give applause to visual group. And now about the auditory group. Let's see how you upload it or not. Thank you. And what about the monastic group? Anyone who will um, move forward to deliver the ideas? Okay, please. Okay, good. Very clear explanation. Give a call. Okay, you need to go back to your seat. Do you feel it's difficult to work with your group? No. no? Yeah. Okay. If you don't have any question if, and you understand enough, let's move to individual tasks. It is pretty easy for you because all of you are my diligent and smart students. Okay. Please. All right, everyone. Attention, please. Have you already finished your individual assignment? Yes. 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 Okay. okay, then let's check your work together. Um, after I read the question, please help me to read the answer of yours, okay? Okay, now number one, what is the main idea of paragraph one? Mm -hmm. Number nine, identify the structure of paragraph three. C. What, C or D? C. Okay, I need to uh, make, make make it clear about this one. If you remember about the previous material, it's about analytical explanation text. The structure is all the same with tertiary explanation text. And analytical explanation text is consists of what? Thesis. 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 And then? Argument. And reiteration. Good job. So reiteration is on the analytical, analytical explanation text. So the right answer for number nine is? Recommendation. Yes, recommendation. Okay, everyone. So let's do some ice reading before we review our today's material. Let's sing a song. When I say, um, are you happy? You say? Yes. Yes. I am. yes. And then the next song is clapping. Like if I ask you whether you're happy and then you're clapping. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay let's start together. Are you happy? Are you happy? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you really happy? Are you really happy? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Clapping. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, everyone. Now, are you still excited? Yes. yes. Okay. Now let's review today's agenda. How do you feel about after doing today's activity? Good. Happy, good, excited. excited. Okay, glad to hear those. What did you get from today's activity? Uh, knowledge, knowledge about? about, about yeah. 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 And some, uh, what is it, causes of climate change and mm -hmm. how to solve that um, and how to against the climate change, right? Yeah. Yeah. And according to the text, what is they? what are they, um, what is it like, structure of uh, that expression text? <laughs> and then what about language features? <laughs> What is the example of models? Shoot. 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 What is the example of act, uh, action verbs? Run. Uh -huh, run. What is the what is the formula of simple present tense nominal? Okay, great. What is the example of evaluative words? Crucial. Crucial. Okay, great. Give applause to all of you. Okay, amazing students. Let's close our today's activity with prayer again. Now I want you maybe to lead the prayer and let's be calm and quiet. Okay, please lead us to pray. Okay, thank you for leading us to prayer. If you don't have any question, I want to inform you that next meeting we will learn about procedure text. So please again read the material before we have the class. Okay, everyone, uh, take care on your way to home. See you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, me.